Monday, July 11th, 2011. It's a date that forever changed this tight-knit Hasidic community. These historically peaceful people were shaken to their core by what took place on this sunny summer day. Eight-year-old Leiby Kletsky, a Hasidic boy who grew up in Brooklyn's Borough Park neighborhood, was reported missing by his parents after getting lost walking home from day camp. New York's police and thousands of Hasidic volunteers began a massive search. Eventually, grainy footage from a neighborhood surveillance camera led police to the apartment of 35-year-old Levi Aaron, a non-Hasidic Jew. Remains believed to be those of the missing boy were found by detectives in a refrigerator in the suspect's third floor attic apartment and in a dumpster wrapped in black plastic garbage bags inside of a red suitcase. The accused man allegedly told investigators that he'd taken Leiby home after the little boy asked him for directions. Levi Aaron would later write a 450-word statement confessing that he panicked and smothered the boy when he realized there was a massive search underway. Levi has pled not guilty. The first-degree murder trial is pending. Just two days after Leiby disappeared, thousands of Hasidic Jews from across America gathered in Brooklyn to grieve the devastating and unthinkable loss of one of their own. The entire world was shocked because our perception of this community was that, you know, first of all, you do have a lower crime rate, lower divorce rate. You basically stay with yourselves. And so when we, the outside world, heard of that, we were as shocked as I'm sure this community was. What did it do to the community? Well, first of all, it was a first. I don't first. ever, ever, ever in all my years remember a story so horrific. No. So the fact that it made the news, the fact that we just can't get past it shows how it impacted all of us. Mm -hmm. We were devastated. You know, when you hear a story about something that happened to someone, you want the details because somehow mm -hmm. you're automatically thinking to yourself, what can I do to avoid it? Mm -hmm. But the story, the whole scenario was so unnatural and so nothing unpredictable. It just, it just floored us. We just we really can't get past it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My son was in his day camp, and we got a text message that evening from the day camp that everybody should, you know, ask their their child if they had seen him. And I think that um, the community learned together how to deal with grief. Mm. What was so amazing, I think, to the to the rest of the world is how you all responded. How within it felt there like thousands, moments there were thousands of searching for this searching school. for him. And and did and, it frighten you all? Did it frighten yeah. the way you operated with your children? Because sure. that Libby was just it didn't, it didn't affect me because it didn't. again it was again there was nothing that can be prevented. I mean, you have an insane person who preyed on an innocent vulnerable child. Yeah. So what, what does that mean? The kids can't go out anymore? They can't yeah. walk themselves? Yeah, he lives a he, the guy lives a couple of blocks him. away. The house where he was murdered mm -hmm. was two blocks away from where we are right now. Um, and it didn't stop my kids from going out to play. They go out to play every day. In the summertime, they're outside mm -hmm. a lot more. It didn't stop them going out to play. At the end of the day, God runs the show, and everything that he does is good, and he loves us. and. And we can't live with this fear. Yeah, you can't live in, in the shadow of death Not and in the right. shadow of we fear. Does anybody know how his, how his parents are doing? Does anybody know um, them? I, I, my, I spoke to his mother about why she doesn't want to speak to the media. Mm -hmm. And she said that she lost one son. And it's very important for her, her family privacy and her family. It's very, very important for her. She, she shouldn't lose the rest of her family's regular life. She just wants to continue with regular life to the extent that it's possible under the circumstances of the loss. Mm -hmm. I see that, I see that. 